Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Rachel Langston. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today we're talking all about Dollar Tree tumblers. Now they used to have some before they added their three and five dollar section and those were not good quality at all. All good to practice on I will say that very good uh, tumblers to practice on however now that they have added a little bit higher end prices with the three and five dollar sections that has allowed the quality of their products to go way up so you can actually get uh, tumblers for a really affordable price there at the Dollar Tree and you can do so much with them it doesn't matter if you have been crafting for one day or 10 years, there is always some fun things to do with tumblers. Tumblers are one of our favorite things to work with here at Oak and Lamb. I don't know why, honestly, we all just really love tumblers here. And we have done some really fun and crazy things to them over the years. And we can't wait to share those with you today just to help you and inspire you on what you can do with tumblers. Now, the most obvious is add vinyl to it. That's gonna be something that is super easy and affordable and quick to do. You can, you can put this on this tumbler in five minutes flat, design space, cutting, weeding, and all of it. I mean, it really takes no time at all. Now, let's see what we can do to take this up a notch. We have five more amazing things you can do with dollar store tumblers. So next time you're there and you're itching to start a project and do something really, really fun, go ahead and grab some stainless steel tumblers, pop them in your cart and buy them at the Dollar Tree because their sky is the limit with things like this. So let's jump on over and see everything you can create with them. Now this is the only one I don't have a finished photo of. My fault, not Becca's. I may or may not have thrown it away before it got done, but I wanted to show you guys all the colors anyway. So here's a little snippet of the video of this tumbler, but look how gorgeous. So this is actually alcohol inks. I will sprinkle all of these links throughout the video for you as well as uh, in the description of this video, I will have all the links to these videos individually so you can know how to create them. But really, we added white glitter and glittered this just like a regular glitter tumbler. And then we took our alcohol inks and went nuts on this. And it turned out absolutely stunning. I mean, the colors are incredible. This was a live stream. So again, I will link that for you. But really, it turned out amazing. I absolutely love the way that this looked. This would be great to do as custom gifts and things like that. But really, you can make any type of pattern that you want, any type of design with these alcohol inks. It's super fun. So grab a dollar store tumbler and be able to use this technique and master it on those. That way, if you happen to want to do something more expensive in the future, you won't be wasting a super expensive tumbler. You will be wasting a Dollar Tree tumbler. Okay, this is one of the more basic but one of the most permanent things that you can do to stainless steel tumblers. This is ferric chloride, and we have taken a stencil that we've created with our Cricut Joy and added a name on here. Now, you can do designs if they're a little bit less detailed designs, but this is a really great way to personalize a tumbler and have it completely and utterly permanent. You can put this in the dishwasher. You can hand wash this. You can beat this thing up, and this is not going to come out because you're not adding layers to this with resin or vinyl, you're taking away layers. You're, you're kind of eating away at the, the very outer layer of that um, stainless steel. So that is how this is so permanent. But this was a really easy project. Again, I'll link all these videos down below. And in the individual videos, those will have super detailed supply lists if you want to know where we got any of our stuff. And I'll just go ahead and admit, this is one of my favorite tumbler projects that we have ever done. This is the Power Wash Tumbler. Uh, I'm also not at all taking any credit for coming up with any of these projects at all. We found most of them on social media and TikTok and decided to put our own original spin on them and share it with you guys. And this one is no different. So this started out with a tumbler with a base coat of different colors of spray paint. Here we used the green, the... Um, corally color the blue and the yellow. And what you do after that is you spray Power Wash, Dawn Power Wash all over it. And then you spray paint it directly after you apply your Dawn Power Wash. And directly after that, you dump water on it. The whole entire thing takes like 30 seconds total to create after you have a dried base coat on your tumbler. And it's amazing, honestly, one of the most stunning projects ever. And then Becca added the Go Ask Your Dad cut file to it. We sealed it up and it is stunning. Stunning. So this is a really fun thing to do if you have a lot of gal pals, get them together for the summer and make a bunch of these out in your backyard. I mean, these are amazing. They would make 
amazing gifts as well because you can customize the colors, the patterns. If you want to put a little bit of Dawn Power Wash on there, that means you'll see more of the um, sp white spray paint. But if you want to put more Dawn Power Wash, then you will see more of the color underneath. There's just a lot of different ways you can do it and no two of them look alike at all. They are all completely unique in their own way. And I really like that about this. Yet another trend we saw was fabric tumblers and Becca got so good at doing this technique. You just go and find a fabric that you like, you know, like a thinner cotton fabric and it could be anything. So you could go to Joann's or Hobby Lobby or really any craft store that you have and find a pattern of fabric that just speaks to you or that really represents you with the colors or the design or anything like that. So here you can see Becca picked out an adorable little camping uh, pattern of fabric. And then this one that looks kind of like a splatter paint is gorgeous. And honestly, all you do is Mod Podge a layer of your fabric around there after you just cut it to a precise measurement, add your UV resin. It's as simple as that. If you have a super busy pattern, uh, you do want to be weary of adding vinyl to that. So you might not be able to read it. However, if you have, if you have like a really, I don't want to say bland, but you know, if you have a really simple pattern of uh, fabric and you want to add a monogram or something to it, you can absolutely do that. But this is one of the most amazing projects ever because it took not a lot of time, but the end result is absolutely amazing. So we love to, to make these. These were a, a, a great thing to, to get under a crafty belt. And they really didn't take that much time, energy, or money, which is great. Yet another type of glitter tumbler. So this was made using basically like a sheet of adhesive, which is super cool. So you would have the sheet of adhesive there. You could run it through your Cricut to cut it. And then each individual piece that you peel off, like when you're weeding, you can just add glitter to that piece. And by the time you're done, you have a full sheet of basically a custom glitter tumbler wrap. And we just wrapped it around there, added some UV resin, super cute. We've done a bunch of stuff with this material and all of them have turned out gorgeous. So if you want to learn how to do this, click the link down below. I'll have it in the description as well as up above. Um, for all of these, but this was another type of tumbler that took a little bit of time to make. So it wasn't, it was a labor of love, but when you get it done, it, it looks like a million bucks, honestly. So this is one that you definitely want to think through and pay attention and kind of test and, uh, see the direction you want to go. Make sure your, uh, colors of glitter that you've chosen are not going to clash and going to go really well together. But overall, this was a super fun type of project to make, especially if you want to go and grab some of those inexpensive tumblers at the dollar store. I love looking at a tumbler with nothing on it because it is quite literally like a blank canvas in my mind. I just love it. And if you guys were inspired by this video, click the very first link down below and see how you can join Oak and Lamb today. Not only do we have over a thousand digital cut files for you to take advantage of, but they also have free commercial use licensing. Meaning if you wanted to create tumblers using our cut files like we showed you today, you could sell those completely legally for no additional cost in that membership, which is amazing. We also have member only perks as well as a member only Facebook group that is a lot of people's favorite perk. It's where our amazing members can go and just have a community together and talk and ask questions and share their inspiration. It's honestly amazing. So if you want a community like that, definitely join down below. If you happen to be brand new with your machine, we also have some new courses that are perfect for you. It teaches you everything you need to know about your Cricut. No matter if you have a Maker, an Explore, or the Cricut Joy, those courses will be phenomenal for you. Join down below. The time is now. Take time for yourself. Set aside time to master your machine and really make yourself into a well-rounded and confident crafter. We can help you do that. Click the link down below. Join today. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notified when more amazing videos like this do come out. We share content over here on YouTube a lot, so don't miss out on any of it. Thank you all so much. I will see you another day for another video.